Welcome to this ChemScape presentation on hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, awareness and safety. Hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, is a dangerous toxic gas found in many industries. H2S has very poor warning properties and can kill a person at a level much lower than that of many other toxic gases. If you are taking this course, H2S is likely a hazard present at your workplace. Most workplaces have safety practices in place to monitor this hazard, but it is important to be ready and prepared in H2S awareness and safety in the event of a leak. Hydrogen sulfide is a byproduct found in many different industries and places, such as sewers and sewage treatment plants, where organic matter breaks down in the absence of oxygen, mining, and some mines and tunnels where mineral rock may contain H2S. The pulp and paper industry, where H2S is a byproduct of wood breaking down into pulp. Compost and manure piles generate H2S, as can construction activities in landfills and swamps. H2S is a hazard found in the petroleum industry, especially at oil and gas well sites, in refineries where H2S is removed from natural oil and gas, and in pipelines used to carry unrefined petroleum. Many oil and gas activities have the potential to release H2S. This can include drilling and completions operations, flowback testing, plant operations, and well treatment and transportation of production fluids. H2S can also be produced as a byproduct during the treatment of wells with mineral acids. The concentration of H2S may vary from field to field and during plant processes. Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless gas that you cannot see. It is known for its rotten egg smell at low concentrations. In large amounts, H2S blocks the sense of smell, and this is why odor alone can't be used to measure H2S levels. H2S has serious physical hazards as well. It is an extremely flammable gas and can easily ignite. As a result, it should be kept away from heat, flames, sparks, and other sources of ignition. It has explosive properties, especially when kept as a gas under pressure. Containers may rupture or explode if exposed to heat. H2S is considered a confined space hazard. It is heavier than air. It settles in low spots. This can pose risks when entering areas like confined spaces where the gas may be present. Concentrations can reach levels that are lethal in a very short amount of time. H2S is highly corrosive to metals. Corrosion can cause significant operational and safety problems since iron is primarily used in drilling, production, and refining equipment. Avoid inhalation of combustion byproducts. When it burns, H2S gives off sulfur dioxide, another dangerous gas that is toxic, strong-smelling, and irritating. As mentioned previously, there are extreme health hazards with H2S. It is highly toxic and can cause death. The primary route of exposure for workers is inhalation. With high concentrations of H2S, poisoning can be quick and deadly, with little warning. If a worker is not protected adequately, the effects can occur within a few breaths, and possibly a single breath if concentrations are high enough. Rapid unconsciousness, also called a knockdown or immediate collapse, can occur within one to two breaths. The body can shake, and death follows in seconds or minutes because of breathing failure. At lower levels of the gas, H2S is an irritant. Eye irritation can include soreness, light sensitivity, seeing rainbows, or a gritty pain with a spasm of the eyelid known as gas eye. Breathing irritation can include sore nose and throat, a burning feeling in the chest, and fluid buildup in the lungs. Other symptoms include headache, confusion, nausea, disorientation, or vomiting. H2S is water-soluble, meaning it dissolves in water, sludge, or mud and oil. For this reason, H2S is an aquatic hazard. It may be released when these liquids are heated, depressurized, or agitated. Keep sources of H2S out of water supplies and sewers. Let's review how to keep you safe. Worker responsibilities to reduce risk of H2S exposure include Attend training Use controls and follow safe work procedures Use available PPE and personal monitors Know how to report exposure incidents All or some of the methods in the hierarchy of controls will need to be applied to prevent or control exposure to H2S. 
it can be difficult to eliminate or substitute H2S as an ingredient in many workplaces, as it is a primary product or byproduct in many situations. But you can eliminate the need to be in potentially hazardous areas. Containment, closed systems, is the primary engineering control. Other engineering controls include absorbent material and scavenger additives to capture H2S. Local exhaust ventilation is effective to remove the H2S from the work area. Use non-sparking ventilation systems that are separate from other exhaust ventilation systems. Filter contaminated air and exhaust directly to the outside. Scrubbers are required on tank trucks where there is a potential for H2S, such as crude oil products. As a rule, if you smell H2S and don't know how much of the gas is in the air, leave the area right away. Return only when the amount of gas has been measured and found to be at a safe level. Never use odor to assess H2S levels. Workplaces must ensure workers are not exposed to H2S levels above the occupational exposure limit. The OEL is the level of an airborne substance that workers may be exposed to without wearing protective equipment and without normally suffering adverse health effects. The OEL for H2S is a ceiling limit, not to be exceeded. You need to know the limit for your jurisdiction. It can be as low as 10 ppm or 5 ppm. At levels above this ceiling, only workers who are trained in the hazards of H2S and are wearing required protective equipment may enter the work area. Administrative controls involve educating workers about H2S hazards and methods to prevent exposure. This can include isolating workers from dangerous areas, unless it is an emergency response or rescue. Administrative controls involve educating workers about H2S hazards and methods to prevent exposure. This can include isolating workers from dangerous areas, unless it is an emergency response or rescue. Where H2S exceeds or may exceed 10 ppm, have a highly visible wind direction indicator. For example, an orange windsock. Posting H2S warning signs at the entrance to a worksite and around critical activities, for example, truck loading. In areas with high H2S levels or where an H2S leak has occurred, workers must wear one of the following two types of breathing protection. A positive pressure self-contained breathing apparatus or a positive pressure supplied air respirator. Training on the operation and maintenance of respiratory equipment is important. Workers need to be clean shaven where the respirator seals the face. Workers who are exposed to H2S should be aware that wearing soft contact lenses may pose a risk. Soft contact lenses may absorb gases such as H2S against the eye. All workers who may be exposed to an H2S environment should have Current training in H2S hazards. Chemical safety training like WEMIS. Training on safe entry to H2S environments. Equipment training on the operation, maintenance, and limitations of personal monitors. Respirator training. Emergency and rescue training. And confined space training if required. If H2S causes the eye to sting, itch, or water, see the first aid attendant. Flush the eyes with lukewarm water immediately for at least 30 minutes. If the eyes keep itching, see a doctor as soon as possible. Decontamination from H2S exposure will require the removal of any clothing or equipment contaminated with liquids or gases containing H2S. Clothing will need to be hung up outside to allow H2S to dissipate before laundering. Because H2S has such extreme physical and health hazards, it is critical to understand the emergency measures for your worksite. Any release is a risk to the workers on site, the public, and the environment. Review the emergency procedures for your specific worksite. Evacuate immediately. Isolate the hazard area. Don emergency PPE and RPE. Eliminate all ignition sources. Stop or reduce leak when it is safe to do so. Ventilate area, especially confined spaces. If a worker is overcome by H2S, to attempt a rescue in an area with high H2S levels, wear only a positive pressure, self-contained breathing apparatus, or a full-face, supplied air respirator with an escape air bottle. Move the worker to fresh air and give oxygen if available. 
If the worker is having trouble breathing or is not breathing, start assisted ventilation using a pocket mask and add oxygen to the mask if available. Previous exposure to H2S, certain health conditions, and medications can increase your susceptibility to this gas. This information should be shared with your doctor and supervisor. Workers who are exposed or potentially exposed to H2S must be monitored to ensure they have no medical complications due to exposure. That concludes our presentation. Please consult a health and safety resource for your company for specific requirements on this topic.